so hello 10th graders uh, we will continue with uh, the question number 2 of practice set 5.1 uh, that says determine whether the points are collinear now i'll do sum number 2 and 4 in this okay and i'll attempt one more sum from the practice set from the problem set 5 okay at least one sum so three sum we are looking to do over here okay so to start with so as i said i will be doing sum number 2 so sum number 2 is you have to prove that l minus 2 comma 3 m 1 comma minus 3 and n 5 comma 4 you have to determine whether they are collinear or not okay l is minus 2 comma 3 m is 1 comma minus 3 and n is 5 comma 4 you have to determine whether these are collinear okay so in this what do we do is as i said you have to find distance between all the three l m m n and l n okay keep the greater one as it is add the remaining two if it equates then it is collinear okay this is just a division uh, of the previous one okay so let's start for l m for distance l comma m L is minus two comma three, M is one comma minus three. Here, x one, y one, x two, y two. X one is minus two, y one is three, x two is one, y two is minus three. Okay, so let's find. Therefore. Distance l comma m is equals to. I always write the formula. Okay, x two minus x one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square. This is by distance formula. Okay, therefore that is equal to one minus of minus two. One minus of minus two, the whole square plus minus three, minus three the whole square. Okay, see, I'll solve this directly over here because I don't have that much space. One minus minus plus two, the whole square plus. As I said, we'll do the same thing in the same step. Okay, keep it like that only. Now solve it. One. Plus two is three, the whole square plus minus minus is plus. That is minus six, the whole square. Therefore, that is equal to nine plus thirty six. Therefore, that is equals to under root. How much is nine plus thirty six? so it is 45 now you can keep it as it is or you can simplify it for yourself that is see we already know always try to see if this is a multiple means the factors for this is one one is a whole uh, you can say whole square so 9 5 says 45 so see 9 is a whole square okay under root 9 into 5 so under root 9 is nothing but 3 root 5 Units, okay. So this is how you simplify. So for distance l comma m is nothing but three under root five. Okay. Now similarly we can do for okay for distance m comma n. Distance m comma n. M is one comma minus three, and N is 
5 comma 4 okay therefore here x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 is 1 and minus 3 y2 is 5 and 4 therefore distance m comma n is equal to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square by distance formula therefore that is equals to x2 minus x1 5 minus 1 the whole square plus 4 minus of minus 3 the whole square therefore that is equal to 5 minus 1 is 4 the whole square plus 4 plus and minus and minus is plus that is 7 the whole square okay now therefore that is equals to 4 4 is a 16 plus 7 7 is a 49 okay now we add over here so i'm not leaving lines over here because i don't have place but your leave line it looks neater 49 and 16 okay this is 5 here 1 carry okay 4 5 4 5 and 6 65 okay now again 6 is a multiple of uh, 65 is a multiple of 5 so we'll see how many times it goes in 5 5 5 1 the 5 5 3 is a 15 okay so 13 5s are but it's not going to make any difference to us so we'll keep it as it is under root 65 distance m comma n i'll just see if i've gone wrong anywhere let me see so m was 1 minus 3 n was 5 comma 4 so here 5 minus 1 the whole square plus 5 minus 1 the whole square plus 4 minus of minus 3 the whole square okay so 4 square that is 16 so i'm not gone wrong anywhere as such so this will keep as it is taken units hmm? last one for distance ln l is what minus 2 comma 3 and n is 5 comma 4 therefore here x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 is minus 2 3 x2 is 5 4 correct x2 y2 hmm? therefore now distance l comma n is equals to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square that is equal to let's do it directly now 5 minus of minus 2 okay 5 minus of minus 2 means 5 plus 2 7 the whole square plus let's see y2 minus 1 4 minus 1 is directly y2 minus y1 is 1 okay if you want you can do all the steps i'm just skipping it okay therefore distance l comma n is equals to under root 49 plus 1 that is under root 50 units okay so therefore now 1 is 65 1 is under root 45 and one is under root 50 
Now we know like consider distance mn is equals to under root 65 and distance l comma n m plus distance l comma n is equals to under root 45 plus under root 50 we know what do we know suppose if we square and add it that is under root 65 the whole square will not be equal to under root 45 plus under root 50 the whole square. Therefore, m comma n and l are non-collinear. Okay. I hope you have understood this. Okay. Let's go a little faster like we did in this for the remaining sums okay we were continuing uh, to find whether these three points are collinear so we found r is given as 0 comma 3 d is given as 2 comma 1 and s is given as 3 comma minus 1 so we found distance dr first that we got it as 2 root 2 units by using distance formula now we're going to find ds so for distance ds same thing just assign okay Therefore, distance d comma s is equals to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square by distance formula. Okay. Therefore, that is equals to under root. Okay. X2 is 3 minus 2 is 1 the whole square plus minus 1 minus of minus 1 that is minus 2 the whole square correct minus 1 of minus of minus 1 therefore I am doing it in a fast way now so that we can okay do few more sums we can attempt few more sums I hope you are able to show all the steps okay so this is 1 plus to the whole square is 4 therefore distance d comma s is nothing but under root 5 okay so 2 the whole square and 1 hmm? last but not the least let's see I'll do it over here distance sorry for distance r comma s hmm? for distance r s r is given as 0 comma 3 and s is equals to 3 comma minus 1 therefore here x1 y1 0 3 x2 y2 3 minus 1 hmm? therefore distance r comma s is equal to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square it's by distance formula therefore that is equals to under root 3 minus 0 is 3 the whole square plus minus of minus 3 is minus 4 minus 1 minus the whole square therefore that is equal to 3 3 is 9 for 4 is 16 therefore distance r comma s is nothing but under root 25 that is nothing but 5 units okay so now uh, even if we do these two the highest is 5 so consider distance r comma s okay is equals to 5 units and distance dr plus distance d comma s is equals to 2 root 2 plus under root 5 but distance r comma s the whole square will never be equal to 
distance d distance d comma r plus distance d comma is the whole square okay therefore uh, r comma d and the s are non collinear now we will just take a sum that is from the problem set see i have, I have such a bad luck i'm not getting any collinear sums we will take problem set 5 from problem set 5 we will take one sum it is not necessary ki every time a collinear i aaye most of the time it's not collinear so don't get scared just do your sum and leave the rest okay hmm? so now our problem set is on page number 122 again we're going to do question number okay uh, i'll take the uh, uh, let's see there is one point 5 sum that is there and uh, there is sum number 2 so i've done something like sum number 2 but i have not done something like sum number 1 so let's see for you all i'll do sum number 1 okay so here we'll do all the steps okay given A is equals to zero comma two. Please expect these type of sums only. B is equal to one comma minus point five. That is, see, I'm going to take minus point five as one by two, okay? Because that is what it is. One minus one by two. Half is nothing but point five, okay? And C. Is two comma minus three. Okay, A, B, and C. Hmm? The middle one is minus one by two. Okay. For distance A comma B. Now I'll write everything because there is a fraction, so we'll try. A is zero comma two, and B is one comma minus one by two. X one is zero, Y one is equals to two, X two is one, Y two is minus one by two. Okay, please check once. Okay, all the numbers are correct now. Distance a comma b is equals to under root x two minus x one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square. Therefore, that is equals to under root x two is see one minus zero the whole square. Keep it as it is. We already know this answer. Plus now this is different. Y two is Minus one upon two minus two, the whole square. Therefore, that is equal to one minus zero the whole square plus. Okay. Now this is going to be minus twenty. Directly take the LCM. Two is the LCM as I told you. Cross multiply. This is nothing but upon one. So one will get multiplied by one. That is minus one. Here two will get multiplied by two. Two twos are minus four. Okay. First solve this clearly. That is equals to under root one minus zero is one. The whole square plus. Let's see what answer we get. Minus minus plus. That is. Minus five upon two the whole square. Therefore, that is equal to <coughs> one answer is one plus. Now again we'll have to solve this. Okay, any square of any number is positive, so twenty five upon four. So that can be written as four plus twenty five upon four. Okay, as I told, it gets cross multiplied. Four ones are four plus means twenty five. Under root. 
that distance a comma b is nothing but under root 29 upon 4 that can be written as hey, sorry 20 ha, correct, 29 upon 4 that can be written as 1 by 2 under root 29 or 0 0.5 root 29 units so you can see how much can you simplify so you have to be little aware of you know what is happening hmm? okay let's go ahead see i also don't know the sum that well i'm also doing it along with you all so now for so we finished a b we'll do b c for distance b c so for distance BC, okay, for distance BC, I hope you can see, B is, again, 1 comma minus 1 by 2 and C is 2 comma minus 3, okay. Here x1 is equals to 1, y1 is equals to minus 1 by 2, and x2 is equals to 2, y2 is equals to minus 3. Therefore, distance b comma c by distance formula is equals to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square so by distance formula therefore that is equal to okay now we have x2 minus x1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 the whole square plus now we do y2 minus y1 minus 3 minus of 1 by 2 so that is minus 3 plus 1 by 2 the whole square therefore that is equals to keep this as it is do not do anything i know 2 minus 1 is 1 so 2 minus 1 the whole square as it is keep okay we'll simplify it together then upon 1 so your lcm is upon 2 okay 2 3 is a minus 6 Plus 1 1 the 1 the whole square. Okay. Sorry. Therefore that is equal to. Just observe how I have written. 2 minus 1 is 1 the whole square. Now you simplify. Minus 6 plus 1 is 5 upon 2. Okay. Minus 5 upon 2. Correct. The whole square. Let's see my luck might be good this time. And that is nothing but 1 plus 5 5 is a 25 upon 4 the whole square. Similar to this. Again LCM please add it. So it is nothing but 4. 4 1s are 4. 25. So for same thing that we did over here. That is 4 plus 25 is 4. Nothing but under root. 29 upon 25 that is nothing but 1 by 2 under root 25 that is nothing but 0. 0.5 under root 29 sorry I was saying 25 29 the whole square so distance b comma c is that hmm? now units last one ac now for distance a comma c a is given as 0 comma 2 and C is given as 2 comma minus 3. Here X1 is 0, Y1 is 2 and X2 is 2 and Y2 is minus 3. So direct application distance A comma C is equals to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 
टू माइनस वाई वन द होल स्क्वायर बाय डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला दैट इज इक्वल टू जस्ट लेट्स माइनस टू माइनस जीरो टू माइनस जीरो द होल स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस थ्री माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस टू द होल स्क्वायर okay so let's see now therefore i also don't know what the answer is we'll just see so under root 2 square plus minus 5 the whole square okay therefore that is equals to under root 4 plus 25 that is nothing but distance a comma c is nothing but under root 29 units now here we at least get something that is nice this is 0.5 0.5 this is a proper under root 29 so this is a bigger one okay mm -hmm. so therefore because this is decimal and this is upon so obviously 29 is greater so last step So I got lucky over here. Consider distance a comma c is equal to under root under root twenty nine units. Also, add distance a comma b plus distance. A comma b plus distance b comma c is equal to zero point five under root twenty nine plus zero point five under root twenty nine point five plus point five gives you one. That is one root twenty nine. One root twenty nine is nothing but twenty nine only. Therefore. Distance a comma c is equals to distance a comma b plus distance b comma c. Therefore, a comma b and c are collinear. So, I hope you all enjoyed this part of the chapter series, just as you would enjoy your favorite book with a hot cup of tea. So, e caught. that is everyone's cup of tea will bring to you many more such chapter series along with detailed explanation and solution of the exercises that are there in your textbook we wish to bring to you this and more at zero cost so that the hardest chapters become your cup of tea so help us by clicking on this button get notified about our upcoming chapter series also share it to help us define education through equality do message us any doubt that you have on our instagram handle everyone's cup of tea and we promise to answer them thank you and keep sipping bye